Hello, my friends. Boomy here once again with another video for you, my SOTOR brothers and sisters. How is everyone doing today in the galaxy far, far, far away? And this is your first time here on this channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for all your SOTOR fun news, guides, and updates right here, right now. My friends, we you know Onslaught is here. We all, we were all aware of that, right? You probably at level 75, you probably have finished the story the main thing and now your main focus is end game main focus is gearing and that's where you are that's where a lot of us are right now now when it comes to gearing and onslaught with the spoils of war system things are a bit different than what we are used to in the past and so with that said i want to show you a simple way to uh, get that gearing uh, that you need uh, as headache free as possible with the RNG that is with Spoils of War. Uh, but I want to show you how to do it um, the fastest way, the best way possible, and just one way that will not leave you scratching your head and banging your head against the wall more than it probably should. And so let's get right into it. Let me show you what's going on with gearing in Onslaught right here as we are dancing on the floor like a fool so here we are we're dancing that's awesome that's nice now the very first thing you need to do when you are done you're getting ready for all that cool juicy gear to drop you know by the time you're done with all your stuff with onslaught the story is all done you've done onderon you've done mech shaw you've done all that jazz you should be at an item level of 268 that's i know i said it right onslaught you know item level 268 that's where you should be so that is going to be your starting base your starting line as you chase the new gear and upgrades for your gear now the very first thing you should do when you're done with all that is go to your uh, little character icon screen right there and you'll click on it go down you know you have your usual additional commands guild mission difficulty toggle pvp focus but you have this new thing called loot discipline this is important if you want gear to drop for the loot advanced class that you have you need to click this on so as right now i'm a marauder and i clicked it on to fury so with that the system knows i'm a fury warrior and the gear that should be dropping should be for that discipline that is a very important thing for you to do. If you don't do that, you'll just have a headache on things. You might start getting things you don't really need for your discipline. Now, I'm not going to be a math person. I'm not going to be, this is the advanced guide to this thing. I might do that down later on the road, but not right now. So let's get into it. You know that the very first important thing is out the window. Let's talk about item rating. Item rating is extremely important in this expansion when it comes to getting the upgraded gear you need like i said by the time you're done doing all the story stuff you should be at a full set of 268 gear that's where you should be now the way this system works is it looks at your item level it doesn't really look at anything else outside of your discipline it looks at your item level in which determines what item level gear drops for you so if you get at 268 you should be getting drops of 270 and every once in a while maybe a 272 item rating gear dropping for you uh right there now some of the best ways to get gear well you know gear kind of drops from everywhere right pvp uh dailies flashpoints operations questing uh renown crates that's how you are going to get gear and you will get a lot of gear now one of the big things with the spoils of war is yes you're going to get a lot of gear and here comes the annoying part that we're not necessarily used to and a lot of people aren't really happy with but it's here it's here to stay it is what it is and that is this you get a piece of gear let's say go in here you get a piece of gear you get something like an item level 270 for it and it's not exactly the stats you want but it is that upgrade you need. For the system to really like you and for the system to give you that upgraded gear, you need to transfer that over to put it in and so that you have everything at 270. Now, what you can do if you really like the shell that you're in, you don't really want ever that, take the mods out, slap them into the shell that you already have, and you should be good to go there. Now, to continue going, say like for this, I'm at 269. And I want to get, you know, start really getting higher gear. I've got to make sure that everything here equates to 
270 for me to start getting the 272 drops and maybe the 274 drops and that is a rinse and repeat for this expansion for you to chase and get to the highest end game gear that you want that's what you're going to have to do for example 270 bam you've done that you might not want that piece of gear that might not have the stats in it but as of right now you are on a marathon it doesn't it doesn't matter slap that sucker in so that it will help you on your way to getting to where you need to go so like i said if you're at 270 you will start getting your 272 gear you slap up full fully item rating to 270 bam 272 272 full item rating bam 274 so on and so forth and that is what this gearing system is all about now when it comes to you are fully there you are at the last item level that's when you really start chasing the stats that you need for the discipline that you have i know it's a rng is a big mess in this expansion it's gotten a lot better since the pts but it's still a thing maybe you were lucky the rng god smiled upon you favorably and you got the gear with the stats and the item level you wanted and everything's hunky-dory but for those of us who did not get that what do we do well let me show you now one of the things that has come with this game is of course currency yep we have a new currency tech fragments now tech fragments are something you will be getting um either by deconstructing something or opening up renown crates so for example if i go ahead and deconstruct something right here um deconstruct deep 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 gonna kill them you should get about four um tech fragments per um thing that you do uh, hopefully that is right now here you go it's going to be different however you do it but i got three right there and that will go up in there bam there i am at 203. now this is where things start getting interesting where you kind of go well let's go here say you're fully up there you're good to go you're ready to get your things you can play russian roulette with some of your stuff and you just cannot get that piece of gear well let's play rng here and you're going to have to have your tech fragments as well for whatever you need make sure that your discipline is set and you can do that up here in this column right here to set the discipline that you need it to drop for. Now, another thing you can do is go all the way over here as that person flexes and thinks he's totally awesome sauce. Go over here to these vendors. Now, these vendors will have the different shells for you as it loads up. Now, these shells are something you can slap everything in, be totally happy. These should be shells, set bonuses for you. Um, you say you just cannot get that piece of gear you want it's just not dropping for you so you come here to do it now be aware this is where things get very expensive to buy any of these things right here you need 3,000 tech fragments and 1 million credits that's right you heard it here and they did this to gate so this is not the only way you go to gear up in the game they want you going out there playing all the things and all the material that they have for you to play with and you know i don't blame them on that one but make sure you save up your tech fragments and you save up your credits uh, in this because it can get pretty expensive um especially when you're trying to fully deck out your character so there you have it my friends a simplish way <laughs> to gear out in onslaught with the spoils of war system the best way to really get the juice out of it that you need now let's re now remember item level is very important make sure you get everything to the max item level you can say 268 that's when you can start chasing the 270 gear get the 270 gear start chasing the 272 gear get the 272 go start chasing the 274 that's very important item level and my friends get that class discipline locked in and you will be set and good to go you're going to have to grind grinding is the name of the game right now uh and you're going to have to have some money on you that's for sure but my friends put your comments in the comment section below let me know your thoughts on all these things have you found a faster way to gear out and get to where you needed to go or what is what are your thoughts on the gearing system here in onslaught does it need to improve do you like it do you do you absolutely hate it uh or what little tweaks do you think they can do uh to improve uh down the line say in 6-1 to help people out uh, i would love to hear your thoughts and read them 
I, I, I would. If you really like what you see here, make sure you hit that like button. Uh, it helps the channel quite a bit, especially these days in YouTube algorithm world, because where they love the big corporate boys and girls far better than us small content creating channels. So make sure you hit that like button, pound it like crazy. Make sure you hit that bell notification because I put out videos quite often if you really really like what you see here make sure you become part of the family here booby nation the freak show of youtube the black sheep of gaming hit that subscribe button and hit it hard share and tell all your friends my friends as always remember to be kind it's about community and we will see you later good day